Okay, so the lower extremity is going to be broken down into three different uh, talks today. So we're going to cover from the hip through the femur, the knee through the tib fib, and then the ankle and the foot as separate uh, PowerPoints for you to break it down. So this is going to be your last lecture. We've covered the body, which is exciting. So looking here, this is an ankle. Um, it's an MRI T1 of the ankle. So starting with the pelvis and the femur, looking here, we'll start off um, looking at the diagram. So we have the ilium, the acetabulum, acetabular fossa. We have the acetabular notch with the pubis, the ischium uh, here. So we're looking at the anterior column, the posterior column. This is the head of the femur with the fova capitis and acetabulum um, there. And acetabular fossa is here. This should look familiar to you. When we look here, we have the tensor fascia lata, the sartorius, the iliopsoas, the labrum. We have the femoral artery vein, anterior column. This is the um, internal oblique, obturator internus, I should say. The posterior column, we have the sciatic nerve is right there. Um, we have the superior uh, gemellius, right there. Here's your femoral head, greater trochanter. We have the gluteus medius, and I want you to know your rectus femoris. I'm not going to make you know everything on these slides, so that's a good thing. So here's the ilium, femoral head. This is your ligamentum teres, or um, ligament of the head of the femur. So coming down, we have the fova capitis, where it attaches on the femoral head. Here's your synovial cavity coming around, all the way around, and we have the capsule uh, that surrounds it and the lesser trochanter with the femoral neck with the greater trochanter. You have the acetabular labrum and the cartilage that runs right along the bone there. So looking here, we have the fova capitis with the acetabulum and the femoral head, femoral neck, greater trochanter with the shaft. You have your vastus lateralis muscles and your adductor muscles. This is your gracilis muscle. This is your obturator externus, obturator internus. You have your gluteus minimus, medius, maximus with your ilium. That should be all review for you. So looking here, you have the pubis, the head of the femur, the neck of the femur, the greater trochanter, and the ischium. And as you can see, we're lower, and you can see your lesser trochanters, which tells you that this is the inferior ramus of the pubis. So here's your femur and your lesser trochanter. Look in here, you have your fova capitis with the head of your femur and the neck of your femur. You have the greater trochanter with your intratrenteric crest. Um, here's your lesser trochanter, your glute gluteal tuberosity, and you have your linea aspera coming down, you have your lateral epicondyle, lateral condyle, intercondylar notch, medial condyle, medial epicondyle, and the adductor tubercle. So we have the patellar surface, the lateral epicondyle. I want you to know your greater trochanter, your intertrenteric line with your lesser trochanter. All right, more review. So we start at L5 here with your sacral promontory. That's the part that sticks the most anterior. You have your iliac crest, your iliac fossa, your anterior superior iliac spine with your inferior, anterior inferior iliac spine with your suprapubic ramus. Here, your femoral head, femoral neck, greater trochanter, lesser trochanter, ischial tuberosity, inferior pubic ramus with your superior or your pubic symphysis, your obturator foramen, your intertrenteric line with your acetabulum, your coccyx, your sacrum with your SI joint, and your sacral foramina as the holes there. So looking here, I want you to know your labrum that surrounds the joint, keeps the ball in place, and you have your pubis, your ischium, your ligament and your fova capitis. So this is how your um, hip is held together. So uh, just kind of give you an idea. There's the ligaments there. I'm not going to make you label them. All right, so this should be review. So we're looking here. Um, this one is a higher cut than this one. From the looks of it, they're both pretty darn similar. So um, looking here, we have your iliopsoas muscle with your femoral head, your femoral nerve, femoral artery, femoral vein. 
And then we have your superior pubic ramus and coming across here, your ligamentaries right there, that black dot, your obturator internus muscle. I want you to know your ischium, um, inferior and gemellius muscle is here with your sciatic nerve is right there. This is your gluteus maximus. This is your obturator internus tendon that runs, it kind of comes up and a tendon runs down under. You'll see it better on the other one. The greater trochanter, here's your iliotibial band or your IT band. Here's your gluteus medius and you have your tensor fascia latte muscle and your rectus femoris. So coming across here, you have your sartorius um, muscle with your iliopsoas, your femoral head, femoral artery, femoral vein. Um, I want you to know your obturator internus muscle coming down here. Uh, you have your inferior uh, gemellus muscle, and then you can see this band here. Uh, that's your ischial femoral ligament actually right there. This right here is your obturator internus tendon. So the muscle comes around and the tendon comes back and attaches to the greater trochanter. So your sciatic nerve is here. This is your gluteus maximus. Um, here's your medius, gluteus medius, and your rectus femoris with your tensor fascia latte. All right, this should be review here. So you have your superior acetabulum, you have your gluteus minimus, um, then your medius and your maximus heads out. Here's your femoral neck with your femoral head. Here's your acetabulum, your greater trochanter, your lesser trochanter is right there. So there's your lesser trochanter and your maximus medius, and you can actually see your minimus right there. So it comes down and attaches. So here is your ilicus, and you have your iliofemoral ligament, and I want you to know your inferior acetabulum uh, labrum, acetabular labrum, and your obturator externus, internus, femoral neck. Um, Let's see, your superior labrum here, acetabular labrum, and your fova capitis is the cutout right there. So looking here, um, we are going, this one is more medial than this one, so this one is lateral, so we'll start with the lateral one. Here's your ilium, your acetabulum, your gluteus maximus, uh, your superior uh, gemellus. I, I can't tell the difference between the superior and inferior, so I just have you label the one. The obturator externus, your quadratus femoris muscle is down here, and I want you to know your femoral head, your anterior acetabular labrum, and your iliopsoas muscle coming down. Here, this one is more medial, so we have the ilium, your piriformis muscle, your gluteus maximus, here's your ischium, your posterior acetabulum labrum, um, and we've got your obturator externus, your femoral head, your iliopsoas coming down, and your acetabulum there. So the muscles. Looking here, we have your crest, and you have your gluteus medius, and this back here is your gluteus maximus that's been cut away, and then your minimus is down underneath. So your piriformis, you have your superior um, uh, gemellius and your inferior glomerius, your obturator internus is running right along there. Your quadratus femoral, femoris is there. So looking here, we have it intact, your um, gluteus maximus. So your gluteus medius with your maximus coming down to your IT band. So the ileal tibial tract coming down. So you have your biceps femoris here. Um, Right there, we've got the semimembranosus here and the semitendinosus here. You have your adductors, so there's different abductors, just know that they're abductors. Then your gacillus runs medially there. Yep, okay. So, again, here's your rectus abdominis muscle, your psoas. You got to look at where we're cutting, okay? So you can see we're pretty high. So we're at the psoas and your ilicus right along the wing there. So your gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, and gluteus minimus. Looking here, tensor fascia latte, we've got your rectus femoris with your sartorius coming across the body of your pubis and the um, pecnineus with your iliopsoas, we're down low. So it's iliopsoas, we have your quadratus uh, femoris muscle and your obturator externus, um, quadratus femoris, sorry, is right there and your obturator externus is here. This is your obturator internus muscle, 
This is your ischium and your gluteus maximus with your vastus lateralis there. Oh, so gluteus uh, minimus, uh, medius, and maximus piriformis. That's what I want you to see there. So looking at CT, I don't think it's as easy, but here is your iliopsoas with your rectus abdominis, uh, sartorius there, and your tensor fascia latte there. You have your uh, minimus, medius, maximus with your piriformis on the inside medial there. And on this image, um, you can see your rectus abdominis with your external oblique muscle here. You got your psoas, your ilicus, and then your glutes. So you can see the pectineus has been cut, and you can see underneath you have your adductor magnus muscles here, uh, running uh, medial to your femur. So um, here we have your uh, vastus lateralis, intermedius, and medius, uh, medialis. So you have your patella and then your patellar ligament. So here we're going to start up top. We have the 12th rib that comes down uh, off the 12th uh, thoracic vertebra. We have your quadratus lumbrum with your psoas coming down to your uh, iliopsoas, which your ilicus um, part of that is on the wing. Right here is your sartorius, your gracilis is medial, the adductor longus, and your pectineus. Uh, looking here, we have the tendon of the uh, quadriceps femoris, and you have your quadriceps muscles here, um, your IT band coming down, and um, I want you to know, that's pretty good. So looking at these, okay, you have your vastus lateralis, your rectus femoris, your sartorius. So coming down, uh, here is your abductor. Longus, your gracilis, and your abductor magnus, uh, and abductor brevis. With your gluteus maximus, here's your vastus, lat vastus medialis, intermedius, and lateralis. So vastus lateralis, intermedius here, and um, rectus femoris, and here's your vastus medialis. So as we go down lower, everything starts to shift around. So you'll have to use your book to be able to figure out where we're at. Here's your femoral vein with your femoral artery. Your gracilis is here. And um, this is your abductor uh, magnus. And your semitendinosus muscle, your biceps femoris, your sciatic nerve is right there. And your uh, biceps femoris is right here. All right. So this is down by the knee. So looking here, you have your supra patellar bursa. So there's a um, bursa there for you. So here's the tendon of your quadriceps femoris. Here's your vastus medialis. And I want you to know your semimembranosus and your biceps femoris with your popliteal artery and popliteal vein and your vastus lateralis is here with your femur. So looking at an MRI, we have the vastus lateralis, vastus intermedius, and um, I want you to know your rectus femoris with your, right here is your biceps femoris and vastus medialis. So here's the lateralis medialis, intermedialis and the medialis. So we have the gracilis with the sartorius and the adductor magnus and the semimembranosus and semitendinosus and your biceps femoris. Looking over here, you have your vastus lateralis, vastus intermedius, vastus femoris, vastus medialis, uh, the gracilis, and we have your semimembranosus muscle, with your abductor longus and your semitendinosus with your biceps femoris and your sciatic nerve sits right in there. So rectus femoris, here's your femoral artery with your sartorius, your um, abductor longus, and this is your deep femoral artery there. Abductor um, brevis, your gracilis is out here and your sciatic nerve is in here and this is your gluteus maximus muscle. So we're still up pretty high. Here's your vastus lateralis, medialis, and intermedius. 
So rectus femoris, vastus medialis, and here is your abductor longus. Here's your femoral vein, your sartorius, gracilis, adductor um, magnus, and the semi um, membranosus, semi tendinosus, biceps femoris muscle there. So vastus medialis, popliteal artery, there's your popliteal vein, your sartorius, your gracilis, semi membranosus, semi tendinosus with your biceps femoris. If I say it enough, hopefully it'll stick, right? So looking here, this one is more posterior than this one. So we're going to start posterior. We'll have your gluteus um, medius minimus. Here's your ilium, your obturator internus. This is your bladder right there. Obturator externus. We have the pectineus muscle, the abductor brevis longus. Here's your gracilis coming down right here. Your abductor magnus and your sartorius. Um, that's just catching a piece of it. Your vastus medialis. And here's your femur with your vastus intermedius and your vastus lateralis. So we have the femoral head there. So starting over here, we have your tensor fascia latte muscle coming down with your iliopsoas, uh, your abductor magnus brevis longus with your gracilis. And then we have your sartorius. We're catching a piece of it. Remember, it cuts across like this. So um, you have your vastus uh, medialis intermedius and lateralis. So looking here you have, let's see how we cutting. So this one is sagittal and it's through the muscles. So this is the ilium, the obturator externus, the gluteus maximus. Um, we have the op adductor magnus with the semitendinosus and the vastus medialis with the sartorius. So this is just starting to come across the abductor longus, the abductor brevis, and the pectineus. Looking here, we have the ischium, semitendinosus. Here's your gracilis. So this is a good landmark. This will tell you, it'll ground you as where you're at. The semimembranosus and your biceps femoris longus, uh, long head, sorry, your vastus lateralis and your biceps femoris. Here is your abductor magnus muscles and your quadratus is here. So that's it for the hip and femur. We'll pick up with the knee through the tibia.